Before we get started with today's video, I have an announcement to make. After years of telling other people's stories, I finally released one of my own. My novel Eternal Rain is available now in both ebook and paperback format for those of you who are like me and prefer to collect physical media. You can grab a copy right now on Amazon through the link in the description of this video. And now back to our regularly scheduled program. While the Warrior of Light was hanging around the studium, Graha had heard from the other Scions. The people they talked to were happy to hear about the warding scales, and now the Grand Company of Eorzea and the Eastern Alliance are getting ready to meet up and figure out what their next move will be. They also want you all to bring the warding scales to Limsa Lamenta, so you pack the things up and get ready to head off. Kral decides to stay behind in Charlene. Since she's the leader of your group in the city, if she heads off and starts chatting with the leaders of other nations, the forum might get irritated since they already don't trust any of you. So she thinks it's for the best if she just waits for more news to come from the other Scions. So minus Kral but adding Astinian to the group since he made it back while you were all in the studium. You all head off to Limps Lamenta where Nanamo, Connie Senna, and Merleweb are all waiting for you. They've all been dealing with the towers that popped up in their areas, but what they're doing is just a delaying tactic. Eventually they'll be overrun. They all know that they'll have to do something drastic to survive this, and the warding scales that the Scions have are pretty much the key to their plan. While you were in Charlian, the different nations were fighting in different areas, but since more and more members of the different beast tribes have been being snatched up, there have been more and more primals showing up, which is making it harder for the individual nations to hold off their enemies. So they've decided to take their best fighters from each nation and send them all to attack Garlemald itself. This group will be called the Ilzabard Contingent. It'll have two jobs. The first is to help the people of Garlemald. A large number of their soldiers have been tempered, which is why they're working for the Talafaroi in the first place. So since they're victims of your common enemy, in some ways that makes them potential allies. Plus, Nanamo just thinks helping them is the right thing to do. She's not forgiving the Garleans for what they've done over the years, but she wants to show that the Eorzean Alliance has better morals than the Garleans do. They really don't if you want to be honest. All of their individual nations have done some pretty crappy things over the years, both to their allies and to people they considered inferior, or people who were just in their way. So just because they found religion in the last few days doesn't mean there's somehow some paragon of justice and morality. But that's a topic for another day. The second objective is dealing with the giant tower that Thancred and Uriange saw in Garlemald. No one knows what it's for, but a bigger version of the things that are giving you all so much trouble is definitely bad. Since the smaller towers affect the currents of ether, a bigger tower would have a far more wide-reaching impact. The smaller towers drain more ether than they need to, and the others are starting to think that those towers may be sending the extra ether to the bigger one. That means the Talafaroi are storing up massive amounts of ether for something that would probably be very deadly to all of you, which means you need to stop it. Obviously, they want the Scions to join the Ilzabar contingent and help them out on this mission. Ishtola, Thancred, and Uriange have already agreed to join up and they're heading off to meet up with the others. They figured it was a given that you and the rest of the Scions would be joining up too, so they didn't see any point in waiting around for you. All you have to do is bring the warding scales with you to Alamigo where Raubon and Amaric are getting things organized. After that, it'll be time to invade Garlemald. Neither Raubon nor Amaric will be leading the contingent though. They're just getting everyone organized before they get back to their other duties, namely keeping their people from rioting since they know that the contingent's not being sent to slaughter every Garlean that they find. Even Gaius is helping get things set up for your mission, but he won't be coming with you either. Since he's been accused of murdering the Emperor of Garlemald and starting the Civil War, it would look kind of odd if he showed up trying to save the people. People would start to think that he's trying to set himself up as the new Emperor, which would honestly be the most logical progression for his story arc, and the best way to change Garlemald for the better. But adding another faction to the struggle for the throne wouldn't help deal with the Talafaroi, so it's better that he stay put for now. Instead of Gaius, Maxima will be the one to guide you through his frozen homeland, you and the very large group of quite familiar faces who have gathered in the Alamegan Royal Palace. Pretty much everyone you've worked with while studying the different jobs is there minus the one person who really should have been. That being Sharun Tia, the man who trained both you and Alice in red magic. She even mentions him during the meeting, so the fact that he's not there hopefully means that Square Enix has something planned for him in the future. But for now, he's one of the few people who is not under the command of Lucia who's in charge of the contingent. To show how seriously everyone is taking the assault, Connie Senna sent her brother to lead the Conjurers of Gridania as the support arm of the squad, as well as some of the twin adders that you'll know if you did the Bard quest, and their job is to keep the healers from getting holes poked in them. Sakaard from the Bloody Executioners is leading the forces from Limsa Lamenta. Uldah sent the slightly insane Thaumaturge brothers, Pippin and Lise herself. 
Ishgar sent the Temple Knights along with an assortment of machinists. So all of that along with the assortment of regular no-name cannon fodder soldiers gives the Ilzebar contingent enough people to make a dent in whatever they come across. Granted, a mana lane is there too, so he deducts a few points from what your group will be able to do. The Domans were supposed to have sent over some shinobi, but they're being used to get messages back and forth from the Eastern Nations. So instead of the ninjas, all of the different Zela tribes from the Azem Steppe, as well as the members of the Dalmascan resistance are there. The contingent is made up of a lot of people who have good reason to hate Garlemald, but that hatred doesn't extend to every Garlean since by now most of the people have made friends with a few of them. One of these Garleans, that being Sid, is providing ships that will take you all over the mountains to get you into the outskirts of Garlemald, but from there you'll have to go on foot to avoid getting shot down. The terrain is flat and covered in ice, meaning you'll all be spotted pretty easily, so it's going to be a hard fight from the minute you set down. That means it's time to grab every supply that you can and get ready to invade Garlemald. And that's where we're going to stop for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, comment, share it, and subscribe. Donate to the channel if you can, and I'll see you all next time.